and gentlemen, it is I, like a boss, and today we are doing a quick little tutorial for a friend of mine. Yes, that's right, Zero Gravity. He is working on starting a YouTube channel and has reached out for a hand. So with that being said, he would like to know about OBS, and I thought a lot of you might also want to know. So I will share what I know and I'm not a pro, but I get the job done, you can tell by watching my channel. All right, there are two OBSs in the world. I favor the OBS Studio, and there are, this is not the latest version, let me just say, there is a OBS point, or 0 0.17 out, and this is 16.5. I did try the 17 version and had a few problems with it, so this is the version I am currently using. All right, first thing, under scene, you want to add a scene, and it's very simple. You can hit this little plus button. You may name your scene whatever you would like. So I already have a scene, so we're not going to add it hit cancel and then you need a source now this is where it gets a little bit tricky but not hugely we'll go through it nice and slow you hit your add button and I assume if you're watching my channel you're into gaming and you might want a game capture so you would simply hit game capture and then you would name it whatever you like if you're playing stranded deep type in stranded deep there or whatever you want to name it and then hit OK. Alright, I'm going to cancel as you see I have games added. Alright, in order to get OBS to see that game that you have added down here in sources, you need to have the game running. So go in and start Stranded Deep, start Imperion, uh, start Call of Duty, whatever it is you're going to play. And then it should, OBS should pick it up and see it. Now, the other thing I want to remark on is I have found that once I added a scene or a source down here, um, this will pick up really any game that I'm playing. So I think it's redundant that I have so many sources here. Uh, for the game capture but if you're having trouble add another source and you can also see that I have window capture now those are completely different and I'm not going to go into capturing windows in this tutorial now let's go over here to you have the start streaming start recording studio mode uh, settings and exit um, start recording will start and stop your um, your recording so keep that in mind it's a universal button I think it changes names actually let's try it and see it we'll probably get a da dong let's try it oh no okay but you can see that now I'm recording double I'm using the other OBS to recapture this OBS, if that makes any sense. Let's go into settings because that's where it gets fun. All right. If you guys just copy my settings, it should get you in the right direction. You may have to tweak it some. Um, make sure that you have your native language selected, your theme to default. You can play with that if you want. It's your prerogative. Um, I here we'll swap it to dark why not and then hit apply maybe it's a little easier to see for you guys um, enable system tray icon yeah you know just play with it streaming I'm gonna click on it show you what it looks like but I don't do anything with it output now um, uh, yet again I don't do streaming so let's go to record because that's what I know about this is the name of my computer um, audio tracks I only use one 
because uh, I use the KISS method in everything that I do. Keep it simple, stupid. So, I know a lot of YouTubers recommend a separate audio track. That's your prerogative. Encoder, this is what I'm using. Um, scale output, this is my native resolution. So make sure that you are in, like if you're using a 1080, make sure you have that enabled. All right, rate controller, this is what I have. Um, this CQP, I have at 23, um, that's a zero. Um, high performance, high audio, uh, GPU zero, B frame at two. And then next, go to audio settings. This is a change you're definitely going to want to make. Make sure that you are on the 48 megahertz, not the 44.1. It will give you better sound quality. Um, channel, stereo, and again, um, desktop is default. There is my mic that you are currently hearing me on. So make sure you find your mic in the drop down menu right here. Uh, if you're using headset, set, uh, sh should still show up. And auxiliary, I'm only running one mic at the current time. All this stuff you can set up, you know, the push to talk or push to mute. That is your prerogative. I choose not to do that. Video settings, again, native resolution. Um, your download scale filter, this is what I am set at. Um, you may have to play with that. Make sure your frames are at least at 60, I would say. Um, if you're getting lower than that, your video quality is going to be quite poor. Very crucial, right here disable arrow. If you have your arrow enabled, it will destroy your frame rates in game. This is the biggest problem. <coughs> Heard me. And it took me the longest time to figure that out. Hotkeys. There are tons of options here, guys. You can go through and set all this up how you want, but I just have um, start and stop recording enabled. Again, keep it simple, stupid. That's my motto. All right, under advanced, this is what it looks like, normal priority. If you have a killer, killer computer, you could change this priority to high. Um, let's see what the options look like. High, above normal, or idle. I would not recommend idle at all. I could probably go above normal to high on my machine, but you know what, it's working well, so I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, render, the Direct 3D11, uh, color format, again, you can play with all this stuff to see what works the best for you. I recommend just making a bunch of fake 30 second videos, have your game running, do some commentary, etc, etc. And every time you make a change here and you switch between different um, tabs make sure after you make a change you come down and hit apply and then okay okay so I hope this helps you guys out um, this is how I'm doing it it seems to work very well for me I'm going to tell it no so let me know if you have more questions comments concerns uh, leave them down in the description I will do my best to help you out as normal all right, guys, thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, hit that like button. Oh, excuse me, I had a burp. Um, yeah, hit that like button, subscribe. I don't do a ton of tutorials, and when I do, they're more game tutorials, but if you guys have a problem and I can help, I will. All right, shout out to my man, uh, Zero Gravity. He's starting up a YouTube channel. And this was kind of keyed towards him because he asked for my help. So I hope this helps him out and it helps you guys out. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. This is Like a Boss.